Driver's side of the trailer, starting at the back, we have the 11 pound propane cylinder, which is hard plumbed into the trailer. So no setting up your propane bottle every time you get to camp, simply turn it on and your hot water heater and your stove is ready to fire up and get those hot dogs grilling away. Down on the wheels, we are able to match up your wheel pattern and lug patterns to, um, to your tow vehicle. So if you're running a Jeep or a Toyota uh, lug pattern, we can do that. Matching up wheels and tires, which looks super cool uh, when your rig all matches up all nicely. The main box on the side over here houses all of the electrical componentry behind these compression locks. Super heavy duty compression locks which suck in with an automotive seal keeping all the dust and dirt out. And the electrical panel over here, the main brain of the trailer. On off switch, master on off switch. So you can shut down the trailer at this flip of a switch or switch it back on. The marine grade switch panel over here, starting from the back of the unit, you have a spare 12 volt, which runs a wire to the back. If you're wanting to set up any additional 12 volt, there is a spare wire there for you. Water pump, self-explanatory, runs the water pump. So when you want to run the sink or run your shower unit, switch on your water pump. Safety circuit, the safety circuit is a propane safety circuit. All Turtleback trailers have safety propane circuits built into them. So you don't burn down the house at a campsite or have the whole cabinet fill up with propane while you're driving down the road. It'll shut it all off for you. Accessory main switch over here, controls all your USB and 12 volt plug points around the trailer. So typically there'll be dual USB switches or plug points and a 12 volt cigarette style lighter in there too. Turtle lighting, under the turtle back trailer we cut a turtle into the frame and then we backlight it with a green light. It gives you a nice ambient green glow underneath the trailer. Kitchen lighting, LED lighting on the back of the trailer, obviously over the kitchen giving you ample lighting when you're prepping up those gourmet meals interior lighting inside the storage compartment nose box and in the desired storage box above and below any of the shelving is led lighting again ample lighting to see any of your goods that you store in there exterior lighting led lighting all around the vehicle when you're sitting up camp late at night and you get there just a little bit later than you thought and the sun's already gone down you have more than enough light to set up camp without falling over everything dometic hot water heater six gallon hot water heater Master on off switch on this side of here, flip that on, hot water heater will kick in on that side. Inverter, if you're running an inverter in your build, the remote switch will be on the main control panel over here. We run 1000 watt and 2000 watt inverters if you so choose, and you can turn that on and off right from the panel over here. Voltmeter or SOC, depending again on what your build choice is. A voltmeter will simply show you the voltage that your batteries are currently sitting at. SOC monitor gets a little bit more in depth, a little bit more information on your amp draw, your battery life, and what sort of life expectancy you still have in your batteries. A lot of information out of that unit right there for you. Moving to the front main storage compartment now, this is a through pass storage compartment. And the beauty of that really is when you pack something in there, if it shifts across to the other side for whatever reason, you just get it from the other side. Compression locks behind you. This particular unit actually has a refrigerator which will slide out on the passenger side. So yeah, we can see the back of the refrigerator. I think it's about a 70 liter uh, Snowmaster refrigerator, a very, very big refrigerator, and it's got more than enough room in there for that unit and still storage room over here for any containers or anything else you want to throw in there. Let's move on to setting this bad boy up, getting the tent out and show you what that looks like. 